Hello everybody, Mr. Olins here. Uh, thank you very much for sending all of your work in yesterday. It was absolutely fantastic. So thank you for sending it in. Right, uh, unfortunately we did not get to the 80% level, which is very sad. But, okay, we can try again next week when I will try my best to get as many of you to send in your work as possible so we meet that 80% level so then I can do the dance because I don't really want to do it if I'm honest um, but I will do it because you guys a lot of you want me to do it but that is that is the deal the deal is that 80% of you get your work in so uh, today's lesson is going to be fantastic we're going to be creating timetables have a great lesson make sure you send your work to year 5 at grange.harrow.sch.uk goodbye enjoy the lesson Right, so what are you going to need for the lesson? You're going to need something to write with and some paper. Now, as I always say at this point, if you do not have these things, please pause the video, go and get them as they are very important for today's lesson and then press play when you are ready to continue. Excellent, so what is ILI today? ILI today is uh, I can create my own timetable. So we're gonna be creating timetables which is gonna be really fun. And the date is the 5th of the 6th, 2020. So your first task is to write the headline the date at the top of the page. So please pause the video, complete that task, and then press play when you are ready to continue. Excellent. Before we move on, can we all just appreciate this background? I think it is absolutely fantastic. Excellent. Let's go through our success criteria for today. So our success right today is I know what a timetable looks like. I know different types of timetables. I know what goes in a timetable. I know that the times have to be in chronological order and I know I need to have the correct heading. Remember the success criteria is the steps we need to take to achieve our objective, which is this, I can create my own timetable. Excellent, so uh, a little uh, recap today. It's gonna be very quick, okay? And this is your recap question. Is 14 a composite number? Okay, we really should have a question mark there. Is 14, the number 14, a composite number? And then the most important thing here is to explain your answers. Don't just put yes or no. If you put yes, explain why it is. If you put no, explain why it is not. Okay, in good English, full sentences. So please pause the video, complete that task underneath the L on the date, please, and then press play when you're ready to go through this. Excellent, so is 14 a composite number? Okay, 14 is a component number. Yes, it is a composite number because it has more than two factors. And remember, a composite number is a number which has two more than two factors. And the factors of 14 are seven, one, two, and 14. So it has four factors and therefore, okay, it is a composite number. Okay, if you didn't quite get that right, I'm sure most of you did, but if you didn't, maybe you wanna do a little recap session uh, with yourself or with your carer or with your parent or your siblings they get all about composite and prime numbers excellent right our starter today is this okay how long is each journey from London to Newcastle so here we have a timetable okay let's just say it's a train timetable uh, and it tells you uh, the route from London to Newcastle okay there's three uh, journeys every day there's three trains that happen every day okay and I want you to tell me how long it takes to get from London to Newcastle in each journey, okay? So how long does it take to get from London to Newcastle in uh, journey A, London to Newcastle journey B, and London to Newcastle in journey C, okay? So you're gonna need to pause the video, complete this task, okay? And then press play, and I'm gonna go through this in some detail. Excellent, welcome back people so let's go through this right so i wanted to know okay how long each journey is in uh, in total from london to newcastle so the way to do this okay is you're going to, need to find the difference between the two times so what is the difference between 1020 and 225 once we know the difference we know how long it took from london to newcastle okay so i'm going to go through each one of these and show you the best way that i think you should do this so the first the first one we're looking at is how long did it take from uh london to newcastle journey a so from 10 20 to 245 so what we need to do is we need to find out the difference between 10 20 and 225 so the easiest way to do this is to kind of create a timeline i think from 10 20 to 225 and you just go up in hours, okay? 
So 10.20 plus an hour is 11.20. So that's one hour. And then another hour is 12.20. I think that's two hours. Another hour is 1.20, which is three hours. And then another hour is 2.20, which is four hours. Okay, so at the moment we've got four hours, okay. But we want uh, 4.25 and at the moment, sorry, 2.25 and at the moment we're only at 2.20. Now, if we add another hour onto 2.20, it's going to be 3.20, which is too much, okay. So what we need to do, okay, uh, is see how uh, much longer 2.25 is than 2.20, okay. And that's basically just finding the difference between 20 and 25, which is 5, okay. So we know that uh, the difference between 10.20 and 2.25, okay, is four hours and five minutes okay so it took four hours and five minutes to get from london to newcastle uh, on journey a right now we're going to do journey b so journey b it took from 11 30 to 2 40 to get from um london to newcastle so we're going to do exactly the same thing we're going to go up in hours okay so 11 30 plus an hour is 12 30 that's one hour Okay, and then we add another hour. Okay, it takes us to one thirty. So now we've got two hours. Then we do another hour. Okay, which is three hours. Okay, two thirty, which is three hours. At the moment we've got three hours. Okay, so we're at two thirty. We want to get to two forty. All right. Now if we add another hour on this, that's going to be three thirty, which is too much. So what we need to do is we need to find the difference between two thirty and two forty. Okay, two and two are the same, so the only difference is 30 and 40, okay, and the difference between 30 and 40 is 10, okay, so the difference between 11.30 and 2.40 is 3 hours and 10 minutes, so it takes 3 hours and 10 minutes to get from London to Newcastle, and then the third one is uh, Journey C, which um, starts in London at 4.40 and finishes in Newcastle at 7.40. So as we've done with all the other ones, what we need to do is we need to find the difference between 440 and 740. So we do exactly the same thing. So 440 plus an hour is 540. So we've got one hour. 540 plus an hour is 640, two hours. Uh, 640 plus an hour is 740, okay? And our time is 740, so that's three hours, okay? So the difference between 440 and 740 is three hours. So it took three hours to get from... Uh, London to Newcastle okay now if you didn't quite get that right don't worry about it okay maybe look over this video again or send me an email for some extra support or you maybe you can look online with your parents guardians or whoever are is looking after you okay excellent right so today uh, we are going to be looking at timetables specifically making a timetable look I'm getting really good with this tech guys so we Look at this, amazing. Look how I've done that, absolutely fantastic. Actually, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't done it. There's a, uh, a tool on PowerPoint which kind of helps you design it, um, so I can't really take much credit for it. Anyways, making a timetable, okay? Now, why would you need to make a timetable, okay? You might, you'd need to make a timetable if you run a bus service, if you're on a train service, if you run a gym, because you need to maybe do when people are allowed in, when it opens, when it closes. Um, a school, a teacher might need to do a timetable uh, to tell you when all the lessons start and where they start, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, there's many reasons why you would need to make a timetable. Okay, so it's very important that you know how to do it. Okay, so what we're going, what I'm going to do now is I am going to show you how to make a timetable. And I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to do uh, the example I'm going to use is a school timetable. So I'm actually going to come out of the PowerPoint so I can edit it for you. Okay, so the school timetable, what is important on a school timetable? Okay, we need to know what subjects there are and when they start and on what day. Okay, so obviously a normal school week is Monday to Friday, but I'm just going to show you Monday and Tuesday. Okay, so it's important on our timetable that we have the right headings. So we've got the subject, okay, what subject we have, and then we've got the days, Monday and Tuesday, so that now what I need to do, okay, is I need to put the times in, okay, now, if I just went like this, right, uh, you start at 9, right, then you're going to start at 7.10, then you're going to start, sorry, 
seven ten. You're going to start at oh, I haven't put that right. Oh seven ten. Yeah, you're going then going to start at ten twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, look, they're in the wrong column. Okay, it says subject, not time. Okay, so it's very, very important. Okay, that you're using the right information in the right area because a, a timetable needs to be clear so everyone can follow it. Okay, so let's think of some subjects. So let's go guided reading. That's the first thing we're going to do in the morning. Then the next thing we're going to do is a bit of maths. Then we're going to do some English. Then we're going to do some geography. And then we're going to do some PE because you all love PE. And then we'll finish the day with some art. Okay, so that's all our subjects for, for the week. Okay, and on Monday, okay, guided reading is going to start at nine in the morning. Then on Tuesday, uh, sorry, yeah, then, uh, sorry, it's going to start at nine. Then maths is going to start at 9.20. And then English will start at 10.05. And then geography will start at seven in the morning. Then P will start at 6.30 in the morning. Then art will start at, oh, 10. Right, what do you think the problem is here? Okay, I've deliberately made a mistake here. Okay, what do you think the problem is? So I want you to just pause the video, have a think to yourself quickly what you think the problem is, and then press play when you are ready to go through this. Okay, I hope you worked it out. So the clear problem is, okay, is that the times are just all over the place. Okay, we've got 9, 9, 20, 10, 5, that's fine. But then it goes back to 7 in the morning. Okay, so that's very hard to follow. Okay, so... There's obviously been a mistake here, okay? All the times need to be in order, okay? Because it's telling you what you're gonna be doing at each point in the day. Now, it's just hard to read if geography's at seven in the morning, guided reading's at nine, art's at 10, okay? We want it in a nice order, okay? So what I should really do, okay, we'd have it like this. So maybe we'd start at seven in the morning, okay? And then we go 9.20, 10.05, okay? Then we go another one at 11 o'clock. Then we'll go 11.20. And then we'll go 11.40. Okay. Can you see it is all in order now? So it's very easy to follow. I don't need to flying over the place to try and understand it. Okay, then let's do the same for Tuesday. So Tuesday will give you a bit of a line, guys. We'll go 9. Then we'll go 09.20. Oh, it should be 09, sorry. And putting the 09s, the O, the zero is very, very important because it tells you it's in the morning. Otherwise, you may think it's 9 in the evening, okay? 0940, uh, 10 o'clock, 10.20, and 10.30, okay? So, it's all in order. It's very easy to follow. I've got my headings, okay? So, it's very, very important that it's in chronological order. So, it's in order of when it happens, okay? So that is basically how you make a very simple timetable. Okay, it's not that difficult. Um, but what you're going to do now is you're going to be making your own timetable. So, superstars, I'm, I've helped you slightly here. Okay, you, I've, I'm going to actually tell you what timetable you're going to be doing. You're going to be creating a school timetable. And in your school timetable, uh, it's the days are from Monday to Thursday. And then the subjects are guided reading, maths, English, PE, and science. Okay, and Every day, okay, it starts, the day starts at nine o'clock with guided reading. So what you're going to do now, superstars, is you're going to uh, copy this table into your book. And then, okay, you're going to put these times for each day in the right order. Okay, so I've told you what time uh, everything starts, but I haven't done it in the right order. So you need to put it in the right order. I'm going to do the first one for you. Okay, so... Guided reading starts at nine, right? So then remember, it needs to be in order of when it happens. Then I need to find the next time, right? So that would be 9.20, right? So let's put 9.20 in there. That should have O. Oh, sorry, guys, this should all have O's, zeros, not O's, Toby. Mr. Odin, not Toby. Um, zero, 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 okay. So the next time is 0.920. Then the next one, what will the next one be? That'll be 0940. 
And the next one will be 0950. And then the next one will be 1020. Okay, so I've done it in the right order there. Okay, 9 o'clock, 9.20, 9.40, 9.50, and then 10.20. Let me just correct these for you so you don't think it's 9 o'clock in the evening. Let's put that there. Mm, there we go, 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 there we go. Excelente, okay. So, superstars, what you're going to be doing is you are going to be copying this table into your book, exactly like I've done. And then you are going to be getting these times. So Tuesday, so the next one you're going to do is Tuesday. Look at the Tuesday times and they need to go in order, okay, of when they happened. Okay, and the same for Wednesday, the same for Thursday. So superstars, pause the video, complete that task, and then press play when you're ready to go through this. Excellent. So these are the times you should have had, okay. Uh, and I've, as I said, I've just made a mistake there because they should all be 09s, so I apologise, I'm very sorry. I'm wasting your time now by doing this, but I apologise. There we go. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Okay. So what would be a good thing to do is just kind of have a look at this one and see if you've got it right, and then if you have, fantastic, you've created your first successful time there. But if you haven't done as well as you may have liked, I'd suggest looking over the video again um, because it should provide you with some extra support or send me an email and I will give you some help. Now, superstars, as always, if you'd like to leave at this point, that is absolutely fine, okay? I would advise staying on and doing the Blue Zone task, but it is up to you. So if you're going goodbye, please send me your work if you're staying. Hooray! Right, Blue Zone. You are going to create your own timetable. Okay, you're going to create your own timetable. Now, this could be any kind of timetable. It could be a bus timetable, it could be a train timetable, it could be a school timetable, it could be an office, whatever sort of timetable you want, it can be, but it needs to be in chronological order. Okay, so it needs to be in the right order, it needs to have the right headings. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is go off and do that, make it as fantastic as possible, make it look amazing, okay? And then come back and you are going to, we'll go through the challenge together, okay? So pause the video, complete that, and then come back. Excellent, Blue Zone. So your challenge today is this. You have a bus timetable and then you have four questions to answer on the bus table, okay? Uh, the bus time table so that is your lot for today people have a fantastic day make sure uh, you uh, send the work in to me and yeah i look forward to seeing you tomorrow and goodbye people